Hey, Redcon Raider here, with special thanks to the Raiders, the fine folks who help make these videos possible, including but not limited to Dragon Matrix 7, Matthew Smith, Revenant, Aloise, Eerie V23, Egon Alter, Emil, Excelsior, Goatlebe, Kazorm, Nathan Welch Jr., Random Passerby, Robbie B., Thomas Piatkowski, Trip Hop and Skip, and Valenrug. Thanks for your support, guys. That said, let's get started. And welcome back to Wildermyth, The Enduring War. As we push on to the end of Chapter 3. And uh, I feel like we did a pretty good job of covering what we need to do last time around, so... We'll just jump right in this time. Though, uh, I should note, we do have an incursion looming. So we should probably take some steps towards mitigating that before we get into anything else. Extra health on wardrobes. I can live with that. Yeah, yeah. Not worth the points. A land arcanery repaired, but... We'll leave it to the B squad to get defenses up. We need to take this tile. The land arcanery has already been destroyed once this chapter. I think if it happens twice, then it's destroyed permanently. So we will do our best to make sure that doesn't happen. Fen of Drananama. Clus Ottery. Hunting Ambrosia. This is it. Close Ottery. The Morthogia are around here somewhere. Keep your eyes peeled. We'll fight soon enough, but first... Knock, knock. What? Who are you? What are you doing here? We're the Retcon Raiders, but, but never mind that. This is Close Ottery, isn't it? Home of the best brews this side of Skull Cove. Your spirits have been called the Nectar of the Gods. Yeah, this is Clue Sautery, and you heard right about my spirits. But I ain't brewed nothing these past few weeks. But why? Thrice-cursed Morthoggy scum is why. Come on in. See for yourself. Oh, it's putrid. Foul use of my fine establishment. They got me brewing up this vile concoction for them. I bring them fresh batches every few days in the ruins, pour it right into their veins. If they have veins, that is. It does something wicked to them. This brew makes them faster and stronger. Why are you helping them? They... they have my wife. They pour this liquid right into their veins, you say? That's right. You should see how they glow afterwards. Hmm. How do you feel about making a special batch? What are you planning, Retcon? That we mess with the formula. Later. Are you sure about this? Yes, we're right here. Okay. Hello? I'm here with today's batch. Oh my. Wow, that's... Ew. It's kind of how hummingbirds feed. 
It's totally gross. Slurp. Slurp. Um, nothing's happening? And they don't look too happy. Get your weapons ready. Well, we tried. Dismay. Plus one hit point on all foes. With the coachman right up front and center, backed by a wardrobe. Not ideal, but uh, we'll muddle our way through it, I'm sure. Oh boy. Um, yeah, yeah, that's that's fine. The more thoggy, the merrier. Respectable. Weldling should be easy, but I'm not sure we can knock out that coachman. Let's go for a blind, just in case. Okay, okay, good. I can work with that. Yes, then we just hem in the coachman and no one can get to us. Or it could die. That works too. Wardrobe's next in line. Moving up. Oh, wow. <laughs> I really need to uh, stop underestimating Reliana. Dragathon point. Getting a lot of use out of that stone bow all of a sudden. More salvage fodder. Neat. Ambrosia returned. 
That's the last of them. You can come out now, Iluma Ilumaru. Is that his name? That was incredible. You were amazing. It is indeed. But Amoma, where is she? Look, over there. Ilumaru, is that you? Amoma, you came. Inappropriate. Of course I did. I couldn't have done it without these folks. I can never repay you, but you'll never want for something fine to drink. Well, that is quite a reward. Oh, uh, that which calls. In the days after the last battle. You can use the scrap. There's no curse on it. Perhaps things will quiet down for a while. Ween. Does the madness never end? What do you think it is? I don't know, but we stopped taking these sorts of things lightly long ago. And Groundskeeper. Yep, that's the uh, Morthagi's top tier area attacker, I believe. Slightly sooner than I really would have liked, but uh, we haven't really been canceling their uh, cards much lately. Okay, so I guess that was the uh, last Morthoggy tile, because we have now unlocked the final location we have to investigate for this chapter. But obviously we're going to finish that uh, other tile first. That'll give the B-Squad time to finish securing the rest of the map anyway. Especially since we still have that incursion coming. Right, we still have to prep for that. Let's rush securing Clue's Ottery. Oh, Dralvin. So I guess we now know what's infesting that last tile. Igneous Ring. Plus damage. Well, gosh, pretty much anyone could use that one. Um, I mean, I guess it's secondary on the casters. But we have a very warrior-heavy lineup right now. We'll start shoring up the B-Squad. Okay, that's enough time to raise some defenses. Hmm, maybe I should have gone for three. Let's see how long it would take. Oh, no, that's too long. That should be enough to get the job done anyway. Silent Widow Hills. Kincrag Outfitter. Apothecary. Springtide. Spring comes back and I'm heading down the mountain. You stay if you want. Chemius. Chemius Fenling. Led my group up here. Heard there's trouble. Who's... Hey, that's the guy who made it all happen. Verlin? I transcribed the page you wanted, those years ago, on foxcloves, and a few recipes I thought you might find interesting. Look at you. All adventure-worn. Hopefully not too worn. Hey, we're here for the Draven. 
Heard they were under Ken Crag Outfitter in the valley? We've heard the same things. People in the lowlands are getting driven out. Yeah, well, uh, Verlin, you remember my wife? Wife now, is it? The home smells like six kinds of sage. Timius asked for my hand, if you'd believe that. Why wouldn't he believe it? Well, spruce the place up a bit since you were last this way. Lachelle's good at digging and sawing and building and all. Berlin's been talking you up as some apothecary. It runs in my family, you could say. Medicines for illnesses, treatments for pain, shrining unctions and oils for other needs and uses. Plus, you know, general stuff, herbs and herbal things. He has healing skill, not just mixtures. You'll boast about it, see? And all I'm saying is it's not just wolves out there. You two sound like gulls moaning over an ancient argument. No, no, it's... Lachelle's been nervous since she found a shepherd and flock. All savage together, little ways off from us. Maybe the guy was fed up with being a shepherd. Heard of that before. Stuff like that's been happening. And the low villages need healing hands, supplies. But Draven ruled the slopes now. It's getting worse, and we're not able to fight them. So I'm saying, if they can, folks will climb up to us. We need to be stocked and ready. So you'll sit on your stone and help whatever frogs leap out of the pot. Exactly. Well said. What good healer asks the wounded to drag their gnawed-on bodies to his door? I've got to go down there and help them. Berlin, I'm seeing a couple of ways we could go. I'm going to go do a little extra recon, I guess. Valen, you know these people too? I'll just be a little bit. I'm just not so sure what magical power you think you wield that'll keep you safe. You're softer than me, dear, and I wouldn't like my chances. I need you too. How long will we listen to this? Look, don't sweep each other out, trying to reach the dust beneath your partner's feet. Well, it's not really your business either way. It's just, we've come to rout those Draven, and we will. We'll make the lowland safe. He serious? Verlin's a mystic, a legend. I mean, we'll support you, but we're not even militia trained. Aside from water and bandaging, we... Lachelle, stop. They're willing to do what's needed, no matter what it might cost them. We should follow their example. Hmm. A risk should be worthwhile. Dumb to pick up a sword if you can't even swing it. A willingness to sacrifice is most often where strength is born, Lachelle. My father always told me that to treat any illness, one must be willing to suffer the same illness. This is like that, to me. And what if it's me who suffers it? Chemius, you're brave, and I love that you're brave. But sometimes I think it's just because you don't understand what you could lose, or who you could lose. And in my worst moments, I think you do understand. Hmm. The apothecary's wife stalks out the back door. Lochelle, I... I... Well, sorry, she's... Yeah, I have a lot to say, but I'm not going to say it. Maybe just sit this one out, you know? You've got a talent, a trade, a marriage. Maybe don't get greedy. Well, Verlin, Valen, 
Go do what you came here to do, and good luck. Your work will be celebrated. And I... Anyway, we'll, we'll be down here to help with the recovery. We'll be right behind you. The apothecary hastily fills their needs and wants. Then Verlin and Valen leave to rejoin Riliana and carry out their task. Interesting set of words you came up with. You never give me enough credit. Enough arguments for one day, Valen. Actually, it... I think it was well said. Hey, plus 18 charisma. <laughs> for our dour hunter. And we'll take it. And two legacy points. Wow, okay. We're starting to build up quite a stockpile there. Oh, plus fortitude. Right from the uh, gifts the apothecary gave us. Up against a generic assortment of Drauben. Nothing really all that notable here. Maybe the Deven. I believe Devens are casters, so we do have to be wary about our... Our characters with lower ward. And the Raid Knight could be a problem, just because he's a second tier range unit, I believe. Let's start with the Raid Knight. Riliana moving up, on guard. Dracith is right behind her. Verlin continues hammering on the Raid Knight. Nice. And now Valen should be able to drop him. And he is double dead. Oh, wow. Lightning on Dracith, but we're good. And regroup on the door. I think we still have like um, three guys, four guys. I definitely remember a terror bird. There's the terror bird. Let's nuke it. That is kind of a shame. Her uh, raider ability would have actually finished it off. But she used her swift action to open the door. Okay, I guess the rest are hiding behind those walls. We'll prep for incoming.
start, right? And second dart, who has set up an ambush zone. Which we can neutralize just by dinging him. There we go. And now we can move in. Hey, there we go. Yeah, cowering makes them very resistant to range attacks, but uh, I figured we'd take our chances. Greybark. Pass. Stronger Draven, no big deal. And now it's really just clean up. We'll wait for that incursion to burn itself out. We'll uh, secure these last few tiles. And then we'll hit Windy Spire Ironworks. And that should wrap up Chapter 3. Wolfheart Knee Pads. Plus health. Once again reaffirming that mages do not have knees. I guess. I mean, I feel like that's weird, but I'm not a wizard, so what do I know? Oh, that's fine. No more Thoggy upgrades. Ottery's about to drop. Kablamo! And we are right here to repair it. And yeah, yeah, the, uh, the incursion is guaranteed to burn out on the arcanery. Bracelets of Faith, also plus health. Hmm. Verlin? I mean, I feel like he's still pretty tanky. Ah, what the heck. Guy's getting older, he could use the boost. Oh, hey. <laughs> Good for you guys. So, two more legacy points in the pot, and slightly less work for us. And I believe that is it. Let's go test our metal. Yeah, time to bring Chapter 3 to a close. A Hollow Return The light had begun melting back into the earth as they trudged through West Pine's timbers. Oh, huh. Well, everything's probably fine. Guess we can go home now.
Wait a minute, isn't this around where Meyer's Forge is? Eh, that's probably normal. I feel like you guys are making a big deal over nothing. What's that old badger gotten up to now? Meyer! You here? Hello? Are you okay? Meyer? What do you think? You're asking me? No sign of him inside. Boom. Crunch. Unless he's, uh, working on the roof? Gzz, boom. Thump. Crick. Crish. Zzt. A veritable medley of strange sounds. All for a very small and manageable group of Morthagi. Stealthy, these guys are not. Uh, but we don't know what direction they're coming from, so I guess... We'll each cover a door? Nope, nope, scratch that. We've got a spawn point north, so that's where we'll gather. Honestly, best not to split up if you don't have to, so... I am grateful to have some small hint of direction here. Groundskeeper and Coachman. Patient legs trundle its towering chambers around. Acrid vapors cloud that turn eyes to swamps, minds to haze. Okay, so we've got something coming in on the east as well, but we'll focus north first. Can I, uh, blow up the door? Oh, boo. Coachman, groundskeeper, couple of spectics. We've got this. Though we do need to be wary of that groundskeeper. That targets warding, not armor. Hey there. One down. Oh, shoot. Right. Uh, immune to all pinning and hobbling effects. Really should have checked that first. We'll just drop it. Strapped. Ah, too far. Hey, okay. Nice, nice. Okay. Batchby and yet another coachman incoming. Probably working their way around the building. Well, except for the uh, coachman. That's right in front of us. Oh, 
Armor stripped again. Valen moves up to Hurlax range. Nice hit from Dracith. She goes on guard. Coachman down. Kind of a waste of a Hurlax, but I wanted to be sure. All right, Verlin, would you please drag that groundskeeper right into our blades? That also works. And incoming, coachman number three. Watchman and three more Spectix. Spectix are right in front of us. Watchmen somewhere around the building. Coachman's our biggest threat, so let's start with that. Yeah. Armor stripped, yet again. Um, go away. Thank you. Armor stripped, line of sight cleared. That's the weldling. Okay, now we can focus on the coachman. Slight overkill. Hey, nice. Just as planned. No sign of that watchman yet. Or the, uh, there was a batch bee too, right? There we go, there we go, okay. Final threats are in sight. Let's take them down, people. Watchman's too far for melee, but we should be able to take him down with range. Oh yeah, and we can just have the batch be, we can kite the batch be. He has no range attack, so he'll have to come after us.
Armor stripped. And Watchman down. Now we'll just back off and wait for the batch bay. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Get more gray bark. Into the trash it goes. Without a trace. They patrolled the surrounding forest for four more days. There were no more foggy sightings, but no sign of Meyer either. Maybe it's time to go home. I'm not going to sit out here forever. Doesn't it bother you, though? All this nonsense, and now here we are, entertaining the woodpeckers. With nothing to show for it? Not nothing. The places we've saved so far aren't nothing. Come on, Lonely Fair isn't so far. What should we do when we get there? Collapse, probably. After that, who knows? Maybe sleep, then rest a little? Doze, perhaps? Napping is nice, too. <laughs> Rhett's got his uh, priorities straight. And uh, are we not done? Feel like normally the chapter would be wrapping up about now. Ah, there we go. Eleven more years of peace. Which means roughly 33 years have passed since the beginning of the campaign. Decent mix of uh, resources. Let's see how this affected the Morthagi. Two cards out from the upper half. Reduced number of sommeliers in the field. Reduced health on wildlings. Not quite what I was hoping for, but I guess that... I guess that helps. During the years of peace. True to Illumaru's word, Retcon never went thirsty. For his taps were always flowing when the party came by. Retcon! <laughs> Fred and Rangar enjoyed talking about the old days over a campfire. Fred would always exaggerate how many monsters he had slain at each battle, but Rangar didn't feel the need to correct him. Retcon enjoyed spending time with the researchers of Clue Sodery. They were dedicated enough to their work that they didn't incessantly try to chat him up. Riliana settled in at Hilarania Stell and found herself enamored with the process. Her signature brew, Valen Saga, became a regional favorite. Denlera Outfitter needed an angle to distinguish it from the others in the region. Verlin designed an exclusive batch of cloaks representing Garionia. Okay. Valen was visited once by a woman cloaked in ivy. The spirit lay out three futures for Valen to pick from. After much negotiation, one was finally picked. 
After mulling over the next chapter of her life, Riliana joined the monastic order of the Cloaked Bear, following a spiritual experience one night. And she spent her days joyfully in ritual and contemplation. Riliana has retired. She is no longer in your party, but she'll go into your legacy and may play a part in future stories. Sad to see her go, but such is the fate of the early game warriors. They rarely last more than three chapters. And it does give the newer recruits a chance to shine. Dracith developed a passion for herding sheep, and spent her later years soaking up sun in the pastures. Dracith has also retired. Oof, both of our main warriors. That is rough, but at least we've got Fox and Fred waiting to fill in. Of course, they'll need to be bumped up a bit, but I believe that should be taken care of. Oh, hey there. Retcon's son has joined, Alor Star. I didn't even know I had a son, but... You know, I guess that does make sense. The timing would put the uh, off-screen dalliance during the interlude between Chapter 1 and 2. And we're, obviously we're not going to turn down a free recruit. Though I do wish he'd been a, a hunter. But you make do with what you've got. Also, he's my son, so I will always approve of his choices. Mostly. As for his starting skill, uh, he is a light armored spear wielder. So Wolf Call or Untouchable would both be ideal. But we'll start with defense first, so untouchable. In the years leading up to her retirement, Riliana seemed to change. She started speaking mostly of the past, summarizing it all. Heartaches, haunting decisions, happiness that came and went. She spun those lessons to all young and old who wished to listen. Who benefited most from Riliana's stories? I'd imagine that would be Fox, her son. Huzzah! Fox is level three. Not enough to get him up to Riliana's standards, but certainly better than level one. And I am thinking we will give him... Ooh, Sentinel. Sentinel's pretty good. But so is Broadswipe for a two-hander. We already did Sentinel, so I feel like we should really try something different for this batch. So yeah, yeah, let's go for Broadswipe. That'll help him stand out a bit from the rest of our warriors, because goodness knows we've had no shortage of them. Hey, Kaiser. Just hanging out, blocking my line of sight. That's cool. Well, I can see we've got Battle Dance here. That's a pretty solid choice for any fighter. Though, uh, he would also have to be able to reliably reach his opponents to really leverage that. Oh, hey, thank you for moving, Kaiser. Uh, I see we've also got an upgrade for Broad Swipes here, so that is actually a much easier choice. In the years leading up to her retirement, Dracith quieted down some. She spent many nights simply lost in thought, then, like a dawning sun. Her laughter grew bright, and she started narrating long, riveting tales from her life. The lucky ones who listened learned more than even they supposed. Which bumps Fred up to level 3. And he will get... Ooh, long reach. Um, yes, long reach. We'll go for uh, long reach. With heavier armor, he'll be inherently slower than the rest of the party, so, so that will certainly help. Oh, sharpshooter. Interesting. Yeah, you know what? If we go sword and board, he can offhand a crossbow with a shield. And that'll give him options for rounds when he can't get up to uh, enemies for a melee attack. I don't think I've ever really done that. That, uh, that actually sounds fun. Hey, and Rangar is finally starting to transform. 
He's full of stars! Though I was really hoping one of his arms would go first. Um, the leg transformations are okay. They're not great. But we'll take it. That is one step closer to turning him into a being of pure star stuff. Just gotta make sure we offset that armor loss. And again, we will pass on getting Valen stoned. No real benefits for us there. Which brings us to the equipment phase. Which is as good a place as any to hit the pause button. Uh, we've also got a new character to customize. A male warrior. So I'll have to bust out the waiting list, see which appropriate request is next in the queue. We've got a lot of requests for hunters and mystics, we just keep getting warriors. So, you know, I have to go deeper and deeper down the list to find someone appropriate. Anyway, we'll uh, hit the pause button for now. We'll take care of our upgrades and our customization off screen. And we will pick up here next time as we meet our new recruit and uh, head into Chapter 4. See you then. Oh, and remember... Although I do love playing Wildermyth, you can find out more about the game by visiting the official website. And if you'd like to help support the channel, then feel free to push the buttons that do the things, or maybe even check out the Patreon, the YouTube memberships, or the new Nexus GG page. Links are in the description.